Hello everybody and welcome to my 25th VB8010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use while loops. So we've we've got used to for loops now so we know how the the concepts of looping in a program works. A, a do while loop is just going to give you the, the ability to make something loop whilst a certain criteria equals true. So what we're going to do in here we're going to put a dim user response make sure you spell it right loads before you get to the end of it and then user response equals input box and then do you like pi so we're just going to ask them whether they like pi and then we're going to make them say yes slash no and then let's just test if they've put yes slash slash no. So if user response equals yes or user response equals no make sure you put it in your speech marks to say that they're strings then and if so we only want to run it if they're putting in the right thing because if they're not going to listen to what I'm saying then then it didn't deserve to to be running the program so let's just test that they're true and um, we want them to be at uh, yeah or so and then we're going to use our while loop so let's just put do while and then user response equals no and then that's the start of our loop so we put do while to say that we're going to do a while loop and then we're going to put a boolean statement so the boolean statement i've put is user response equals no so as long as the user is putting in no this section, the section of code is going to loop and we tell it to loop just by putting loop at the end of it so we don't use a next like we do in a for loop we put loop at the end of it so just remember that difference and don't get confused between the two because then your code won't work then so if the user responds as no we're just going to keep asking them because I'm a little bit mean like that and I bloody love pi so if they're going to say they don't like pi then I'm going to keep asking them until they say they do so user response equals input box do you like pi and then we just close this off and so it's just going to keep going until they put in yes at which point it's going to it's going to carry on after the loop so after the loop here they've admitted they like pi so let's just put a message out on screen and see i knew you liked pi and so let's just press play on this now and I'll show you what's happening so it's going to ask me whether I like pi, I'm going to put no, I don't like pi and it's going to ask me if I like pi no and then no and I, seriously I don't like pi and it's not going to have it so eventually we'll put yes because we got bored of arguing and then see I knew you'd like pi and um, so that's how you would use a while loop obviously using it for forcing people to like pi is is the key key objective that i'm sure all of you had when you started watching these videos so but you can use it for many other things so just remember that you you do whilst and then a boolean statement equals true and if it doesn't equal true as soon as it doesn't equal true it's going to come down here and it's going to carry on the code afterwards so that's how you'd use a do while loop in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to use a similar type of loop called a do until loop so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you in the next tutorial